So for these two reasons, the void for vagueness doctrine and the overbreadth doctrine, I humbly submit that the Supreme Court ruling on this particular provision is erroneous. And I call on all netizens to, to magnify all our efforts and to speed it up as soon as possible so that we can either file a motion for reconsideration with respect to this particular libel provision or we can speed it up here in the Senate on that new law that I have just, that I have filed from crowdsourcing. It was not me who, who crafted this law, but all the netizens uh, coming from different professions, naturally from lawyers, but also from civil engineers, etc. Uh, I just think it was a bad idea for the Supreme Court to look on internet as another form of publication. It's not another form. It's not like radio, TV, or print. It's a completely different concept imported from cyberspace. And you have to acquaint yourself with the power of the internet and the way that it regulates its own dynamics. Someone calls you names, then you call him back, you call him names too. And then all the rest will fill in with their own opinions. That is the basic idea of the marketplace of ideas, which has been so emphasized by one of the most famous justices of the Supreme Court, Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. We should let ideas join the marketplace of ideas so that people can filter in the marketplace what is good or bad. Although the Supreme Court, of course, said it is only the sender who is liable, not the person who is commenting or has, who is receiving. But what do these words mean? Who is the sender? The service provider? The individual netizen? Or if they're a group, how do you identify them? Or even worse, if they are not using their true identities, how are you going to go beyond what they profess to be their identities on the internet? That is the main problem today. Um, identity theft is now common on the internet. We never heard of this crime before the internet. So this emphasizes how different the internet is from the traditional forms of media. The Supreme Court is treating social media as if it were just a scion or a, a successor or just another classification of traditional media. It is not. So here we have a case that unfortunately appears to be jurisprudence trailing after technology because of lack of information about how the internet operates in society.